For several Verdigris officers, last night's incident marks the second murder-suicide scene they've had to process in the last three months. On Easter Sunday, two people were killed and another was injured in a similar scene. News on 6's Cal Day explains how situations involving kids take a heavy toll on officers and the resources available to them. Verdigris Police Chief Jack Shackelford says these types of scenes can really have an impact on officers. Many of them are parents themselves. The end of Thursday's day shift came around 6 on Friday morning for some Verdigris officers, many of whom are already back in the office today. Chief Shackelford says some of his officers didn't leave until the medical examiner cleared the scene around dawn. Sitting outside yesterday as an incident commander and watching the reaction on some of the officers' face and their personal reaction to what they saw when they went in, uh, you could tell it had a big impact on them. Shackelford has seen plenty of these scenes in his 46 years of public service. He says when kids are involved, it's even more difficult for first responders to disassociate themselves from what they're seeing. You may not at the time because we're programmed to just you know do the job, go through the go through the paces, but. It hits you later when you're, you know, when you sit down and you start reflecting on what happened, and especially if you've got infant kids or younger kids. While the scenes eventually clear, the images of what first responders have to see is something that doesn't go away. It never gets easy, and after a while, you think, you know, the general public thinks, well, this is what you do, this is your job. Yeah, it is what we do, and it is our job, but you never become callous to it. If you do, then there's, you know, you're not in the right occupation. Shackelford says counseling and other resources are available. He says the department is coordinating those resources right now. Debriefing with counselors plays a big part in processing these horrific scenes. You learn to compartmentalize it, put it in your, you know, in a certain compartment in your brain, and you leave it there, and hopefully you don't, it doesn't come back out. But trust me, after several years of doing this, it, it has a tendency to creep out sometimes. Shackelford says several agencies stepped up to lend a hand last night. He knows mental health is something many struggle with and encourages anyone struggling to get help before things get worse. In Verdigris, Cal Day, Oklahoma's own News on 6.